This video version is a detailed step-by-step -step build, and therefore it's super long. I strongly recommend instead clicking to the other video version. That one is an overview of the build, and then it jumps right to the final assembly of the ship. Still here? Okay, let's go. Hi, today I'm going to walk through uh, the build for my latest LEGO model. Uh, this one is called Heavy Light. And the before I uh, dive into how it's put together, uh, maybe just point out a few areas here that I think are interesting. So uh, firstly, this is the first time I've used uh, this new cockpit, uh, uh, this uh, windscreen glass uh, here in the front. And uh, for the uh, for this one, I thought it looked uh, better with that glass uh, canted forward. Uh, so I've built up some angles around it. So it's uh, 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 firstly at about uh, 18 degrees. And then I uh, brought the whole cockpit section down again uh, on top of this uh, to match up the angle of this Technic piece uh, here. And I think it gives a pretty good look. Around the front of the, that uh, cockpit screen, I had to uh, build up something which would wrap around it and then cut forward. That's what these wedges are doing. And I wanted some color blocking that would cut around uh, the outside of the glass uh, with the blue. And I'll show later how I've done that. Uh, but I, I, it was uh, a good bit of fun. It was interesting to figure out how to make that work. Uh, down below uh, the uh, down below the uh, cockpit area, uh, had fun putting together some greebles, and they cut, kind of cut back. And then as we get from the front to the rear of the ship, another area uh, I invested a lot of time in was uh, this kind of transition to this uh, engine-y uh, uh, area where the, uh, it came up with this geometry with these hoses uh, wrapped around the, uh, some cylindrical elements uh, and then twisted uh, to give it a spiral uh, kind of look. And then that whole section then cuts back uh, into a kind of a cowl on the back um, uh, and then a, a cowl here in the front on the back of the cockpit. And uh, getting that geometry to work was also uh, really interesting. It took a good long time. Where it cuts from the front to the back, the I've added uh, these uh, uh, Technic struts, and I think it's if I uh, tilt it back like this, you can see. Uh, I think it's uh, an interesting look. Uh, I really like the angles that pulls off. And then uh, here in the back, the as uh, we transition back to these big engines, the I, I found uh, this uh, interesting uh, canopy element. It's available in a few colors. One of them is yellow. And I really like this shape, this uh, jog once, jog twice kind of shape. And it seems sort of perfect uh, for doing something on the outside of this angular engine, while also providing a, an interesting cutout area where you could put some uh, greebly mechanical bits uh, on the inside. And I thought that came together pretty nicely. And then finally, uh, this area up on top ultimately transitions to something cylindrical here in the back. And uh, that all uh, comes together uh, in a way where the it's built around uh, geometry of these uh, bars. Um, uh, I kind of staggered uh, with some snots so that the uh, we can ultimately get uh, 16 uh, of these uh, facets around the outside. Those facets then are uh, tied in uh, such that we can add some color blocking. These are cheese slopes uh, that cut up and around the outside uh, with the blue and uh, the gray and the yellow. So let me just uh, spin this around a bit more. Go back. Okay. So uh, as I bring this back to the front, uh, let me show you how uh, heavy light uh, uh, comes together. Now we're going to start on the cockpit. And the, uh, this is uh, rather complex. So I'm going to do it in a lot of little chunks and mostly to kind of disassemble things that are already put together. So uh, this starts with a, a two by two plate uh, with uh, two side studs, a one by two plate on top, two one by three plates underneath it. And uh, it's going to uh, latch into a, a two by three plate uh, that's got a, a one by two plate with the cheese and a one by one uh, uh, plate underneath it uh, into a uh, one by three tile and a, a one by one plate in light blue. There's some uh, color blocking here. 
And uh, on top of that uh, goes uh, this bit. So uh, it's a, a one by four plate with the two long cheese. Uh, on top of it is a one by two plate and a two by a one by two tile into a one by three plate. And that will go like so. And then this piece uh, will come in underneath it like that. Okay, come back to this in just a second. Oh, actually, I think I can go right here. So here's this uh, cone bit. Uh, and uh, the cone will go across these three studs. Never thought a cone would be structural, but there it is. Okay. On top of this, uh, this is a, uh, so I've got this uh, medium blue, uh, this wedge piece, it's going into so it's a two by three plate on top of it. Uh, the two by three plate has a, a two by two tile with a decal, and then two of these uh, one by two uh, slopes. And uh, that will uh, come in here on top of the one stud. Uh, the reason why this is a tile is that uh, later the cowl, uh, it's nice to be able to take it off and on easily. And so I intentionally made just the one stud like that. Uh, up uh, then underneath behind that will go this piece. So this is a one by three uh, plate uh, um, in, in white, one by two, one by one in red. It's up underneath a one by two tile. Uh, one by two plate and uh, one of these nifty uh, uh, corner uh, tiles and oops and uh, this piece uh, this will come up behind here behind that wedge okay. and make for this really nice reveal it cuts around the top okay. uh, and then finally uh, uh, this is a uh, some macaroni and a uh, or rather, uh, and then a, uh, one of these cool uh, corner rounded tiles, uh, one by two, one by one uh, round plate uh, for some texture, and that fits in here, and then uh, gives this look where it seems like it's uh, cutting around, uh, cutting around the cone, and then uh, dipping back in underneath the, the uh, medium blue. So just tighten all that up, okay. The next bit uh, is this one. So uh, this is a, let's see how I'm gonna do this. So this is a uh, build up. It's, um, mm -hmm -hmm. So, all right, let's not lose this. So uh, one by four uh, plate here in medium blue, uh, corner round tile, uh, two, uh, two by two corner uh, tiles, one by one plate. And then up underneath that is a uh, one by four plate, one by two tile, one by one plate. Like so, and then uh, into that is this going to go this assembly one by one plate into a one by one Technic brick, one by one plate, one by one brick with a side stud and a one by one brick. And uh, this will all go like that. Okay. And actually I can I can go ahead and assemble these two. So uh, these two parts will uh, uh, come together two studs back here you can see the uh, so get the studs going the other direction get one going this direction carry the blue through next part so uh, this bit uh, let me disassemble this a bit Not losing how it works okay So, oops. Oh, nice. Okay, so uh, this is a uh, one by four, uh, one by four plate. Uh, it has uh, on top of it a uh, one by three plate uh, that's got. Uh, uh, that has uh, these uh, rounded bricks on top. If I put that back, it's a nice strong connection because uh, it's capped underneath with a one by two plate. So put all this back together. Uh, one more of these rounded bricks uh, should go on top, uh, like so. Okay. Uh, and then a uh, one by two tile. Okay. And then into the, uh, if I put this back together the right way, then on this side of that is a, a two by two plate 
uh, two of these uh, one by one uh, round uh, plates with a hole on top uh, because we're going to use them as a kind of jumpers. Uh, one by three plate, one by one plate, one by one tile. And put this back. Hopefully that is still correct. Okay. And, uh oh. One moment. Okay, I found the problem. Uh, this bit that I made uh, rather, should go like this. So it's connected into just the, the one stud. Okay. And then uh, underneath this, this is a, a one by two to one by four bracket. It's got a two long cheese on top of it, uh, a uh, one by uh, six tile uh, with a one by one plate underneath it. And that will connect in uh, like so. And the one by one tile uh, just fills that gap. Oh, sorry, the one by one plate fills the uh, open gap back up underneath it. Tighten this up. Um, along the top, so a stack of uh, two of the uh, two by four wedge plates and a uh, two by two uh, rounded uh, slope. Yeah. And this will cut in over the top like so. And then one of these nifty uh, cornered, uh, rounded, curved slopes pieces uh, will sit on top like this. And then um, uh, into this will come uh, this element. So let's pull this apart a bit. So uh, this is a one by three plate, one by one plate, two by two corner plate, uh, two by two rounded tile with the decal. Uh, underneath it, uh, we'll go a one by three plate, we'll cut across uh, two of these uh, grill tiles. Goes to the front. And then underneath it, this is a, a two by two corner plate uh, with, a, uh, with a two long cheese. And when I do that, then uh, this is recessed here in the back for the one by three, uh, which is then going to uh, fit in offset on those uh, uh, plates with the hole on top. So that element looks like that. Then uh, these two uh, parts can then uh, go together. And it's going to be a uh, this will uh, I'll be yet another jumper, so I'm going to use the open hole on the uh, brick with side stud uh, to connect in to this part on top. Okay. So this is uh, one of the key components uh, for the cockpit. I'll set this aside. Okay, next bit. So uh, it starts with uh, this assembly. Let me take this off the back. Remember where it goes. So uh, it's a two by four uh, plate uh, into a uh, with a one uh, two oops, uh, with a uh, two by three plate underneath it. Uh, one by two plate, uh, two by four, two by three. Build up uh, one by two plate. And then uh, there's uh, two in red here, uh, bricks with side stud uh, facing out each side on top. Uh, and that uh, then has a one by two plate, uh, one by two uh, um, um, plate with a bracket. Uh, this is one inverted, uh, one by two plate capped with uh, two uh, one by three tiles. This then we're gonna do get a stud reversal uh, later to lock something in. So it's a one by two Technic brick with two holes going the other direction. Uh, with a one by two plate and a one by two tile. Okay. Um, this element, let's see, how do I want to break this apart? Let me do it carefully. All right, let's not do that. Okay, so uh, this is a uh, uh, one by two brick with uh, two side studs. It's got a couple of these kind of a burnt orange color uh, uh, grilled cheese on top uh, for some detail inside of the cockpit. Uh, that's sitting on top of uh, two uh, 
uh, two by two corner plates. And uh, those two by two corner plates in turn have a one by one plate uh, and a cheese on top. Uh, below it is a uh, one by four plate uh, with a, a two long cheese. Uh, and then a, a one by four plate cuts across it. Okay. On top of that is this little assembly. Uh, these are two uh, one by two bricks with two side studs. Uh, they're up underneath uh, two by two corner plates now in dark blue. Uh, there's a uh, that's held together uh, with a one by four plate across the top. And then uh, two of these uh, super nifty new ish slopes. Uh, that come up around the top. This is because something else is going to cut in here at an angle. This was, this part uh, was perfect for that. So uh, this unit will uh, sit on top of the other one. I believe I, I had it on like this. Okay. Um, and then uh, underneath this is a um, uh, is a hinge brick. It's got a two by two top. Just a stack of some plates. I guess I could have just used a two by two brick and a uh, one by two tile on top. And uh, that will come in uh, underneath here, uh, uh, bend slightly, and then connect into this other unit that we had. So that looks like that. On the side of that, uh, we'll go a couple of these things. So. Uh, this is a, a four by four uh, plate or tile. It just has four studs on it. And I've got a two by two, a one by two rather, uh, brick with uh, Technic brick with two holes side. Uh, as a bracket, so a one by four, a one by two, two, one by four bracket, two, uh, two long cheese on top. And uh, then let's see, the, let me just remember which how this goes. So it must be like this. So then uh, up, uh, this will connect in up underneath and the uh, part facing internal to where the cockpit is doesn't have any studs on it. And I get this nice edge on top uh, where it connects into the, uh, where it cuts over on the cheese slopes. And that will make for some nice color blocking to uh, wrap around that canopy uh, later. Okay. Assuming I put it all in the right spot. Uh, the next bit is this one. So uh, this, let's see how we want to take this apart. Let me do it like, start like this. So uh, up on top, uh, this is a uh, uh, two by two plate with uh, two with uh, side studs. Uh, it has a couple of uh, uh, two by two corner plates in white, uh, grilled cheese on top. Uh, one by two plate uh, underneath it. It's going into a, um, a one by two to one by two bracket that's inverted. Oh no, sorry, that's not inverted underneath. So uh, that's got a two by two plate on it, uh, a one um, by two tile, and then a couple of those uh, uh, kind of sh chamfered tiles on top. Ingots, I think. Okay. Uh, this uh, then. Let's see, make sure I put this back together correctly. So then on top of that is going to be a, uh, this is a two by three plate in dark blue. It's got a one by two uh, uh, tile on top and then a couple of plates underneath to basically get a two by two, uh, equivalent of a two by two plate. And that will go in like so. Uh, this unit uh, then um, on top of it will be this uh, fun uh, kind of curved wedge slope. Like that. Uh, and uh, we'll come back to, okay, and so it looks correct. Then uh, the next part here is going to be this. So uh, this is a, uh, uh, a one by two Technic brick with two holes. It has uh, two uh, bricks with side stud here in red uh, underneath it. Uh, it. Connected into the holes are two more bricks with side stud, light blay. Uh, they each have a, a one by one plate on it. Uh, there's two one by two plates underneath. Then uh, two of these uh, nifty uh, bricks with uh, uh, studs on opposing sides, or coincident sides rather. 
and then a, a hinge brick with a two by two top. Right. And where did this go? Okay, so the top of this. So the top of this will connect in that other unit I just made. Oh, great, okay. Then uh, into the back, we'll go this thing. So this is, just pop this off very carefully. So uh, some more of those uh, bricks with the, the uh, studs on the two coincident size, sides, uh, two one by two plates, two bricks with side stud. And uh, that's gonna uh, come up uh, underneath uh, uh, this unit. So it's a uh, uh, one by two to one by two inver uh, inverted bracket. It has a, uh, a one by one brick and a one by one brick with a side stud on it, capped with a one by uh, two tile. And then uh, that brick with side stud is going to get a, a, a tile on top. I'm just going to adjust it so that it's even. Okay. And it's going to, uh, we'll cut across a, there's a one by two tile here and then a, a one by two brick. And if I put it back together the right way, then uh, this will uh, connect it on those two exposed studs. Might be backwards, but I think this is correct like this, uh, and the whole unit uh, will then connect in like this. Okay. At uh, this stage, I can put these ones together now, if I have uh, kept everything correct. So so this uh, the top of this hinge uh, um, uh, brick uh, will come in underneath this plate. Uh, and this bit here with the with the cheese graters and the uh, uh, curved slope in the tile will fit in underneath uh, the uh, uh, where these uh, other slopes cut across. And so this, and then I will adjust the whole thing to 18 degrees. So it's flush. Okay. So it looks like that. Now, uh, obviously, this is not sturdy yet. It's, a, uh, it's just not, uh, but we can make it so uh, using these. So uh, this is a uh, one by six plate. It's got an ingot on it. Uh, it connects in on uh, a one by four uh, tile sitting on top, uh, uh, two by two plate, and a two by two corner tile. And uh, this will uh, uh, cut across and connect those two units and make them strong. And the same thing on the other side. Oops. Okay, structure. Okay, so that's a that's a major cockpit component. Okay, next part of the cockpits. Uh, it starts with this. So uh, this is, uh, let's see, how am I gonna, an interesting thing I did. Okay, so uh, this is a, a one by two, two to two by four uh, bracket. Normal one, it's got a, a two long cheese on one side. Uh, underneath it is uh, a, uh, a two one by one plates, a one by two plate. Uh, it has a jumper on it and then another jumper here. And underneath this is going to go a uh, one by two to two by two bracket. Uh, this one's inverted. It's got a brick with this in red, a brick with a side stud uh, and uh, cheese on it again. And so that will connect up underneath. So it gives this little assembly. Okay. The next little part is this one. I'll see how do I want to break this apart. Okay. So there is a uh, one by two to two by two bracket in blue. Uh, it has on top of it two of these 45 degree slopes with the cutout. Uh, before I forget, underneath it will go a two by two uh, plate with two one by two plates like so. And then on the front of the bracket, uh, there's two uh, plates with door rail. 
the uh, one by two tile and a couple of these rounded tiles, like this kind of look. And on top of that, to cap things off, uh, will be a, oh, I should make this better. Uh, oh, I see. So, so is a, interesting. So is a, a, a two by two plate and a one by two plate with two one by three uh, tiles on top. I was just wondering why I didn't use a two by three plate. And the reason is that underneath it, I need this to put this new style jumper. And that's going to have to this, this uh, hole. I'll show you watch in a second. And then this uh, will go across the top here. Okay. So this turns out to be the lower part of the, uh, the nose of the cockpit. And uh, what I'm going to do now is put into that, uh, this uh, connected uh, to, uh, will be the uh, top of this jumper and uh, one of the studs uh, from that other little assembly from those brackets. And that will go into the underneath of that new style jumper. So we built it up like that. So it looks like so. I'm going to, uh, on the side of this now, uh, we'll go uh, two of these things. So a uh, brick, a uh, hinge brick with a two by two top. Uh, it's got uh, two of these uh, two by four, uh, two by four wedge, uh, wedges, wedge plates. Uh, and then capped with this uh, wedge with uh, uh, no studs on top. And it's got a couple plates underneath it to make that flush. And you can see the color blocking to carry the blue along the top. What will be the top? And do the same thing on this side. Okay. Now we'll bring in our uh, pilot. And the our pilot's sitting on top of a 2x3 uh, plate. Uh, into his the bottom of his legs is uh, will go a one by four plate. It's got a uh, two one by one plates on each side, uh, which are capped with a uh, neck bracket uh, for a little bit of uh, detail and texture. Uh, he's holding a couple of uh, taps, uh, which are then going into uh, the top of two headlight bricks. It's got some clear cheese on top, uh, one by one uh, round plates underneath. Uh, that are going into a normal uh, one by two to one by two bracket. Uh, that's now, but the studs are going the other direction. It's got a jumper on top and the top of a hinge brick below uh, for uh, just some detail. And I can put that all together now. So uh, it's going to, so this stud is going to connect into the middle of that one by four plate. And the top of that jumper uh, will connect in along the top here. Okay, and uh, there's our pilot. And so uh, now with the uh, with the pilot's uh, section can fit into the back of the cockpit right here. And so I'll uh, connect this in like so. Okay. Back in the cockpit. Uh, then the sides that I made before uh, will go on top. So I'll do this one first. And this will connect in on uh, three studs. Oh, sorry, before I do that. Forgot uh, this little detail. So uh, there's a one by three, uh, one by three tile uh, on top of a two by three wedge plate and uh, a rounded uh, tile, and that will uh, connect in to carry the blue back around uh, with a into a curve. And do the same thing here. These two studs. And uh, now I can put those uh, sides on. Nice and tight. Same thing over on this side. Right. 
points. Good. Okay. And he needs a windscreen, which I have here. And that windscreen's held into uh, two uh, one by two uh, slopes with the 45 degree slopes with cutout. So we'll put that on top. And then bring the whole thing down. Close it up. Okay, and that is our completed cockpit section. Now I'll begin uh, the work on the front frame. And uh, let me just uh, take this uh, first part apart. So uh, the frame begins with, uh, let's see, what is this? Uh, 12, uh, 14 long uh, Technic brick uh, here in uh, dark blay. And then uh, all along the brick, if I uh, pop off some of these tiles, you can see I've sandwiched it. Oops. I've uh, sandwiched it um, with a uh, these uh, one by two to one by two um, brackets. So the a normal one around the top and an inverted one up below, and uh, and then across all those brackets. Okay, is this going to work? Uh, across all those brackets, then I've ran a, a two by fourteen uh, plate across them. So th this is a super strong for a, uh, kind of a, a uh, uh, in the space of five plates by five plates. I think this is one of the strongest uh, 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 kind of geometries uh, for strength in a frame. So, so we're done. And, uh, and then I've capped the top of that two by 14 plate with tiles, uh, three two by four tiles and a two by two tile. Uh, there's a uh, two by two tile on green here on the back. Uh, this will connect to the rear frame later. Um, uh, three holes in. There's a uh, uh, friction pin. One by two tile, two by two tile up on top. Uh, one by three plate uh, underneath. Uh, and then uh, on top of this section, there's a uh, one by uh, two by three plate and a two by two plate uh, with a two by four plate across it. Uh, a two by two, one by two cheese. And then two one by four uh, tiles. I could use a two by four tile, but I wanted the the, uh, the line down the center. Uh, this is towards the front of the ship where the cockpit is. And here we're going to connect in a, a two by two uh, corner plate with a one by two plate, a uh, one by two brick with two side studs. Uh, that's got uh, two more one by two plates on top of it. And then goes into the bottom of a two by two plate with a one by two tile and uh, the one stud will connect up underneath like this. Okay. Uh, over the top of that will go this unit. Let me think how to take this apart. Let's see. Okay. So there's a, a two by four plate here in blue, uh, which is the center uh, that I didn't pull off of. I guess I can pull off of both sides. So like. So uh, that two by four plate has a, on each side is a one by two plate and a one by two tile. I'm gonna connect it back over here so I don't forget how this goes for just a second. And then off the front of it, there are two uh, one by two jumpers here in red. Okay. Um, on either side, uh, this is gonna be a mirror image. Uh, there's uh, two of these uh, uh, two by two plates with side studs. Uh, they're connected with a one by four uh, uh, panel and a one by uh, two plate on top. And then on the front of it is a, a two by two uh, corner plate with a two by two corner plate on top of it. Uh, it cuts around this way and then a one by two, one by one rather uh, tile. So this unit uh, will uh, come up underneath like that. Okay. And then, uh, and then underneath each side, uh, there is a, a stack of two one by three plates. It has a one by uh, one brick with a side stud, a one by one brick, and a headlight brick uh, for half plate offset with a one by one uh, plate on it. And that will connect in like this. Okay, so uh, we need the half plate offset here for something else that's going to connect in off the back. 
And then this segment uh, will sit uh, right in on top here. Oops, did I get the correct way? Great. <clears throat> the front of the jumpers will go over this red plate. Watch that. Okay. We'll come back to this in just a second. The uh, next little part oops, uh, is this. So uh, let's see. I don't want to do this. Take this apart carefully. So there's uh, two one by in red here, uh, two one by one bricks with side stud. There's a one by two plate on top of it, a one by four uh, tile on top, and then a uh, a uh, couple of these uh, one by um, uh, 45 degree slopes with cutout. Okay. And then onto each side of those uh, red bricks will go uh, this little assembly. So pop this off. So there's a, a two one by two plates. It goes into a two by two plate, two by two corner plate here in dark blay. On top of that uh, is a uh, grill tile in black for some uh, texture and reveal, a one by one plate, and then one of these uh, cut corner tiles, like so. And, uh, and then coming up underneath that is a one by one, uh, sorry, sorry, a uh, headlight brick into a one by two plate uh, with the cheese on top. And uh, that will connect in like so. So uh, we've got the uh, cut facet on both sides uh, with this uh, stud directional change uh, and the reveal of the uh, grill tile underneath. And then uh, this uh, unit uh, will uh, connect in uh, on the, uh, that red uh, brick with the side stud. Then uh, this, uh, then that unit, I believe both of the headlight bricks probably, Yes, uh, we'll go into these exposed studs in the front. So it comes together like this. Uh, this is creating a line for the dark blay area uh, where it's gonna look like it comes around and cuts up uh, uh, into the main body. Okay, come back to this in just a minute. Uh, the next bit of the frame uh, down underneath the nose of the ship uh, looks like this. And uh, let me do it in uh, two parts. So the first part, uh, I can put together almost entirely studs up, I think. So let me disassemble this just a bit. All right, that's good. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I forgot how this went together. This is great. Okay, so and let me. And this one also. Okay. So uh, let's start actually at the back. So there's a uh, one by two, one by two plates. It has a uh, one by two Technic brick with two holes on top in red. Uh, the back of that brick has a uh, one by two uh, plate into the two holes. The front uh, is going to have two of these uh, two by two plates in black with side studs. And we'll connect in on, on uh, one of the studs. And um, uh, one of the studs into one of the holes. The other exposed stud on the side of that plate uh, gets a um, uh, this little Technic uh, bit. I don't know what to call this. Uh, these, um, it's like a lift arm uh, with no lift. So just the one by one uh, circular uh, Technic bit. Uh, and that's gonna give us a stud reversal. Uh, which we need in just a second. So uh, then on to uh, the, uh, onto the, uh, those uh, black uh, two by two plates will go the stack uh, one by two, one by three plate. It has a one by two tile on top. A one by two plate and a cheese grater. And that cuts over the top like this. Then uh, let me. Oh, this is great when I took it apart, and now I forgot how I did this. It's dangerous. Okay. So uh, this is a uh, two by four tile, uh, two by two plate, uh, a couple of these uh, slope, 45 degree slopes with a cutout uh, with one by one plates. 
and uh, I think it was sitting right on top of the uh, these two studs like uh, so okay uh, this is the part that I forgot how this was done uh oh let me uh, just take a uh, quick look Okay, so I think uh, the way this was in here was, uh, so this is a two by three plate. Uh, it's got a two by two plate underneath it, uh, one by two plate, and then uh, two of these uh, plates with the clip lights to get a stud reversal and another one by two plate. And, uh, and I will put it in here like so. This is wrong, I'll flip it around later. So it comes in the back. Uh, you can see now that this are, there's a, a half plate offset uh, where that um, those black plates with the side stud go into the Technic brick. Then uh, this little uh, unit is a uh, whole bunch of these uh, plates with clip for for texture. And uh, let me just do it. So there's a two by three plate, uh, six of those uh, clips underneath, uh, one by two plate, and one a clip there. Uh, and then uh, this has uh, going into it a, a two by four tile. Uh, underneath the two by four tile are four more of the clips, uh, a one by two plate and another clip. And uh, and must and uh, then uh, these will sit on top of the tiles, on top of the tile. Looks like that. So it's giving the kind of reveal and texture from the clips. And then this unit uh, should fit up uh, underneath here. Okay. And uh, into that will uh, go this little assembly stacked, a couple of these uh, wedge plates. Uh, each of the wedge plates has a one by two uh, plate. Uh, I put some decals on each side, uh, and then a couple of these uh, quarter stud uh, round uh, tiles. Uh, these pl uh, wedge plates come in um, multiple configurations, and the, they used to be available uh, without the uh, kind of cut into them for uh, for studs, uh, which is a better look. So I ended up uh, getting a couple of those, and this will slide in. Uh, between the plates, between the those clips, and then on top of the whole, uh, on top of this to cap it off, there's another one of those uh, wedge plates uh, into a uh, a four by three uh, uh, wedge with no studs, and uh, there's a, a a one by two plate back there, and so this will just uh, sit on top to latch the whole thing in. Okay, so there's that part. Uh, probably correct if I put this on with the right configuration. Then uh, the other uh, the other bit that I pulled out here is uh, this. So let me see how I'm gonna, how I'd like to do this. So there's a, a one by four plate, uh, one by four tile across the top. Uh, underneath the one by four tile are uh, two little sub assemblies. So this is a, a couple of one by two plates, uh, a one by uh, one brick with a side stud. Uh, that's going into a lift arm, a uh, one by two lift arm here in blue, stud into the lift arm. Uh, that lift arm uh, itself then uh, has the other hole is has a long pin. This is a three long pin, friction pin. Uh, it's going into on one side a pin joiner uh, that has a um, uh, one of those, just a, a, a pen with a stud. Uh, so I can put a little light on the front. Uh, the other side of that uh, is then going into another uh, one by two uh, uh, Technic lift arm. That also has one of those half uh, pins in it. And then that half pin is going into a one by two plate. And that plate has two cheese uh, that are opposed. And we'll uh, connect it up underneath uh, here like this. So then this unit, a uh, little sub assembly, uh, let me just twist around, uh, is going to get trapped up underneath this if I've put it together correctly. So, that oh, looks good, great. 
Okay, so uh, the, at this point, uh, it's not connected to anything. It will later, it'll get snapped in, but right now it's, it's trapped. And uh, these parts need to be rotated uh, so that they're flat. Okay. And then uh, this unit, then you can see that I was able to give the kind of cylindrical look uh, to the blue that comes back, uh, and then into the cheese. And uh, that should uh, then uh, be able to connect back into this main uh, body that we made before, uh, where the, the uh, cheese will uh, fit together nicely uh, and give that uh, cut line. So these are going to be the four studs, uh, including that half plate offset. Oh, sorry, four, four studs. There's no offset here. Okay. So cinch this all up. Okay, and, and uh, now there's that color blocking. Uh, coming up from the dark gray up underneath. Yeah, I like this geometry. It's beautiful. Okay, uh, to uh, kind of cap off on the top here, these are a couple of these uh, uh, little, little uh, technique bits. I forgot what these are called. Uh, and uh, they're going into, uh, there's a uh, pen with an axle joint a friction pin there and another of those uh, one by two lift arms in blue and the top of the lift arm uh, will connect into this stud. And I just want to uh, twist it around so it's nice and flush. Same thing. And then the other side. Yeah. Uh, now I'm going to uh, cover up the uh, underneath here, and to do that, uh, this little assembly. Let's see what we got. Uh, so primarily, it's these uh, six long, uh, 45 degree slopes uh, that have a bit of a cutout in, in black. And there's a, a two by two and a, a one of these new two by three tiles on top of that. Uh, underneath it, uh, in the front, actually, let's pop this off. Uh, it's a uh, two by two plate with a one by three plate underneath it, and that will go in like so. A two by two corner plate and a one by two plate. On the front of that will be another of these uh, four by three uh, wedges uh, without any uh, studs. So, and then this little unit then will, uh, should connect in uh, perfectly underneath here. And fill out those remaining uh, gaps. Okay. Uh, here facing back uh, will be uh, these uh, 75 degree uh, slopes. Um, with the uh, 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 cut and uh, kind of wedge style. Uh, two one by uh, one um, bricks, a one by one plate, and a one by one tile. And I think it should be like this. So onto those two studs. Same thing on the other side. And once that's in, uh, I can connect this other bit that's going to be important for the frame. And that side for the moment. So back where there's that exposed friction pin, so that's going to go into a one by two Technic brick uh, with a one by one plate underneath it. So, and then underneath that uh, will go a, a one by two uh, plate and a two by two corner plate. And later this will connect into the rear frame, and it's just giving more surface area. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have done that yet. I was just wondering why I had to do this, this step. Uh, this will come in, in just a minute. So, go back up. Okay, before I do that, 
we need these things. So uh, these are some black, black rebels um, that are cut up underneath the, the frame of the ship. I'll do the one from the starboard side, perhaps. So uh, it's a 75 degree um, uh, slope on uh, two edges wedge. There's a one by one uh, tile on top. Uh, this is going into the, uh, so a, a, uh, one of these grill bricks. I don't think you can see that. And then underneath the, into the grill brick, and the other side will be is a one by two uh, brick, uh, one by two brick with two side studs. On, onto which there's a one by two plate in black, and there's a one by uh, two plate underneath it as well. Uh, this is a, a two by four plate. Uh, it has a bunch of these plates, little tiles with clips on top, four of them. And they're going into two uh, one by two tiles. And then a stack of uh, essentially two by three plates uh, with uh, ingots on top. So I think this is a nice texture and it will connect in on top like this. And then this unit, oh, this is the put one, okay. And then uh, this uh, unit will connect in uh, at the moment just on the one stud. And you can see the black then cut through. The one on the other side as well. And once that's there, then I can go back and uh, put in the uh, one by two Technic brick, uh, which uh, locks this one on the this side in, and then underneath that Technic brick, so one by two plate and a two by two corner plate. That's what will connect to the rear frame. Okay, so uh, let me set this aside for just a second. Okay, the next part of the front frame is this. So uh, let me start from this little bit in the back. So this is a uh, one by, pull these off. So it's a two by three plate. It has a two by two plate on top of it into a uh, one by four plate. So uh, the one by four plate has a two by two plate on top of it. And then uh, around the edges are two, uh, uh, two by two corner plates in black. Uh, with a one by one tile and a uh, one by one round tile. And uh, uh, into that we'll go uh, this bit. So this is a uh, one, by, uh, one by six tile. It has a uh, two by two corner uh, plate underneath it. Uh, that then is going into a uh, one by four tile, which goes into a one by four plate uh, with a one by one plate and a, uh, and a round uh, 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 plate on top, a round tile on top rather. There are two of these, and that will come in like this on top. It seems kind of tile city. Okay, and uh, and then this uh, bit is a oh, let's see. So this is a uh, uh, one by two to two by two inverted bracket. Uh, onto the bracket will be a, is a one by two brick with two side studs. Um, sorry, two sides, that's two holes, it's a Technic brick. And the front of that is a two by two uh, plate. Um, it has a uh, one by two plate and a two long cheese on top of that. And then the other side of it is, uh, there's a one by one um, brick with a side stud and then just a one by one brick. Okay. And that's because of the way I built the frame uh, will connect up underneath the, uh, the long Technic brick, but the other side it, uh, needs to be flat. So, and then the, uh, this tile uh, will come across the top of this. Catch the light. Okay. Uh, then I've got uh, several of, of uh, these bits. Let's see, Where's this? where do these guys connect in? Oh, okay. So uh, then, uh, let me make sure, okay, uh, gotcha. So uh, then the next geometry here is this. So uh, there's um, a two one by two, uh, sorry, two by two corner uh, plates like this. 
Uh, they're uh, tied together with a one by two tile. Uh, underneath it is a uh, one by two to one by two inverted bracket. Uh, that bracket has on top of it a uh, one by two brick, and then that's going into a one by two to one by two normal bracket uh, with a uh, tile, the one by one tile on top. And uh, this is all to get a stud reversal. So it's going to, uh, these two studs uh, will fit in uh, to that Technic brick uh, that we uh, attached earlier. Uh, is that right? Let me just check. Uh, is this working? Oh, this is going to get trapped in there. Okay, so the, so so uh, it won't connect. It's just going to sit in there loose for a moment. It's going to be trapped. And then I've got uh, four of these uh, two by two, uh, uh, sorry, two by four uh, tiles in black. It has a uh, uh, one by two to one by four bracket uh, with some two long cheese on it. And these will fit in uh, along here, like so. And, and that's to give it this nice edge underneath. I wanted the, the cheese facing this direction. So this is all the bottom of that uh, component. Okay. And uh, with that, then we can put that into the bottom of the frame. So here we are again with the frame. And uh, this will uh, connect up in the back. And uh, there's going to be uh, the two studs going up and uh, the two studs coming down here. So for a total of four. Just cinch everything up. All right, and uh, that is the uh, completion of the front frame. Let's start the rear frame, and that begins with uh, this bit, this component. So this is a uh, one by uh, ten uh, plate. Uh, it's got two one by two plates underneath it. Uh, and uh, it is latched up uh, underneath uh, two uh, two by four plates uh, here in play. See so uh, from behind, and uh, this. Okay. Uh, so two two by four plates, one by uh, two by two tile across the top, one by four plate back behind. Uh, on top of that is going to go a uh, one by four plate, a two by two corner plate, and another two by two tile. Okay. I'll repeat that over on this side. Okay, so like this so far. Then uh, the next little section looks like this. Uh, there is a another uh, one by uh, ten plate uh, which is uh, cutting across this. There's a, a one by four plate uh, underneath in the center, and let's see what the best way is to uh, show this on top. There's nothing behind. Okay. So uh, this is a one by two with a two one by ones, uh, a one by three plate top, and then uh, this is a two by three plate. Uh, it has another two by three plate in white uh, across the top. It has a two one by two plates on this side and a uh, one by one brick with side stud here. Okay. And this should be a, a mirror image on the other side. Okay. And then uh, let's see if I can remember properly. Then this uh, seg these two segments will come together. The one by four plate here will go into the space for the one by four here. So it looks like this. Uh, then this is a uh, one by six plate. Uh, it has two one by uh, uh, two plates with door rails, a one by two plate, and it's capped with a one by uh, six tile. And uh, this will come up underneath here, like so. 
And uh, then I think this is going to be correct. So uh, this is a uh, one by six uh, plate, uh, and it's got two uh, two by two uh, corner tiles on it. And I'm pretty sure it goes like this. Uh, find out soon. Okay. So, so this part. The uh, next bit here uh, looks like this. So let's see how I want to do this. So this is a, uh, in the center here in gray, so it's a two, uh, one by two Technic brick with two holes, has a friction pen in one of the holes. Uh, that's on this side is a one by uh, two plate uh, with a one by uh, one Technic brick underneath it. On this side is a one by three plate and a one by two plate underneath that. On top of it is a brick with a side stud, a couple of uh, one by one plates, uh, and it's capped with the tile. And this is a one by four plate, has a one by one brick with a side stud and a one by one plate underneath it. Uh, on top here is a one by two uh, brick with two holes and a friction pin, uh, a one by one brick, uh, and then this has got a, a two long cheese and a one long cheese. And uh, this segment will go on top of this one. So then uh, back to our uh, kind of core of the rear frame. Uh, this uh, will come uh, on top like so. And then I'm going to take a, a, a one by uh, four tile. This is going to be in gray for some color blocking and that will come along the top here. Okay. And I need the same thing on this side. Uh, the next little bit is a, a one by six brick. Uh, um, that brick is going into uh, three uh, Technic uh, bricks, uh, one by two with two holes. Uh, underneath that is a one by six uh, plate. Um, this is in the back of the brick. And then uh, there's four headlights, headlight bricks on top, and the, the headlight bricks have uh, one by two tiles in them. So. And, and I believe uh, this unit will uh, come in, uh, uh, should come in like this. Okay, so we're getting more uh, different stud direction. Uh, later, this is gonna be that round core. It's gonna come in here and the kind of cowl around, it's gonna come into these two studs. Okay. The next piece, uh, next little component looks uh, looks like this. Let me think how I'm going to show this. Okay. So I'm going to pop for the moment. I'm going to take these guys off. Come back to it. So uh, this uh, studs a plenty. So this is a, let's see how I want to. Many studs, just a uh, and a half plate off. Okay, let me just open this guy up. Seems good. Okay, so uh, this has a, um, a two by two plate here on the bottom. That two by two plate has a uh, one by two brick uh, with two side studs, uh, like so. Uh, it ha also has a uh, one by uh, two plate on it. The one by two plate has a one by six plate on top of it. Um, on the one by six plate is a, a two by two plate. This is in green, and the one by two brick uh, with the two side studs. Underneath the uh, one by six plate are two uh, two by two corner plates, like so, uh, with a tile on top. Okay, so it looks like this. 
Yeah, let me just make sure that I, um, where did, how did I do this? Oh, great. Okay. So uh, the next uh, the next bit here is also at its core has a one by six plate. Uh, it's sandwiched up here uh, inside of all these other bits. So there's uh, there's a one by six plate that runs through this. It has uh, underneath it a, a uh, two by two one of these two by two plates with side studs, like so. And uh, that then uh, across the top these are uh, uh, two by two corner plates. And there's a one by one plate and a, a two by two tile. You can see here. And then into that will go another these two by two plates with the side studs and a uh, one by two brick with uh, uh, also with two side studs. So that unit looks like this. There's some stuff that's going the other way where part of it is a half plate up. And uh, and then this will uh, come in. Uh, this unit will go on top of this one. I think all those red studs should line up properly. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to put the. Uh, I forget how this was, but I think probably the two by two tile was here, and the one by two tile was here. Okay. So this unit now, uh, those six studs are going to uh, come in here along the back. this. So we're getting to something where the frame's going to come here and then we've latched this at a strong 90 degrees. Uh, underneath this bit, so um, let me just to make sure I see how I'm going to do this. Okay, so underneath this uh, there's a two two by fours. Here's one of them. It's going to pull these two together uh, with this other uh, piece, a big uh, segment sandwiched in between. Um, and the reason I was hesitating is that there's uh, this one has a two two by sorry two one by three plates. Uh, later, the stand is going to come in here, and it's asymmetrical. So this side has uh, also the plate, but uh, two one by twos. Okay. So the uh, the next uh, the next bit looks like this. Uh, this is, let's see, how shall I go about uh, getting to some interesting parts? Okay, so uh, there's, this, maybe I'll start with uh, yeah, that seems good. Okay, so there's a, a one by three plate. It's got two one by one plates on it. That's up underneath a one by two Technic brick with two holes, one by three plate jumper on top, a one by one plate and a one by one uh, Technic brick. Underneath that is gonna go a, a two by two corner plate. So what I've got here. Uh, that two by two corner plate has a brick with side stud going this way. And then there is a, a one by two to two by two inverted bracket on top, a couple of cheese graters. And on top of that will go a, a one by two brick uh, with two side studs. Um, that's going into a, a hinge brick uh, this geometry is very nice. I like this a lot. And later, the the uh, some uh, gear racks are going to go across the top for texture, and that's going to and will line up uh, perfectly with this with um, a close to seventy five degree uh, wedge plate. And there's a little bit of cheese on top. So if I've done this properly, uh, this unit uh, then will uh, come in uh, from the side. So we'll connect into those two friction pins. This. Okay. The uh, here is uh, this, uh, just a uh, two by two plate with the side studs. Has a one by one brick uh, with a side stud facing out this way, and then a one by one brick with side stud facing this way. And uh, if I recall correctly, uh, these uh, front facing studs uh, will all come in here. So this looks like this. Okay, this side. This bit is a um, so there's a one by three one by three plate uh, it, uh, has underneath it a one by two plate. 
a, a two by two or one by two to uh, one by two inverted bracket uh, with a yellow tile on top. Uh, it has on top of it a, a brick with side stud. A brick, uh, sorry, one by two brick with two side studs. Uh, and then one of these modified tiles. Uh, I'll show you in just a second what that's for. Uh, so it's just two studs on top. And then the reason that I'm using this modified tile is this will come up underneath here and uh, 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 work its way underneath these plates uh, back into this section. So cinch everything together. Okay. And uh, this little unit is a, uh, so let's see this. Okay, I don't want to lose how this works. So there's a uh, one by two uh, plate. It has a one uh, by two brick with two side studs on top of it, uh, and a one by two uh, plate and dark blade on top of it. Uh, those two studs, one of them is going into a stack of uh, two one by two plates and a one by one plate, and the other one is going into a headlight brick, uh, which has a plate and then a cheese on it. Okay. So it looks like this. And then I believe uh, that unit's gonna come up underneath here. So later from below, uh, there's some nice bit where this cuts in with the black. It's the gray. Okay. Uh, it's time for some tile work. Oh, actually, uh, first I'm gonna uh, attach the other side. I'll bring this all in. So it's the same, all of the same steps over on this side. Uh, not all these tiles are on the other side yet, uh, but this is gonna remind me where they go when I do that. Not perfect, okay. okay. And pop this, oops. Okay, so back to this side. Uh, we need a one by four yellow tile. Uh, this is going to be on the uh, cut along the uh, those kind of intakes on the big engines on the side. Um, there's a uh, a one by two tile here, which has nothing going on on top of it, just a placeholder. And then uh, this is uh, these are uh, two jumpers uh, with a one by two plate with a uh, handle on the end. Uh, it has a tile on top and then a rounded tile with a decal. And uh, that will connect in on this one stud here. The other stud is a half plate uh, removed. Uh, it doesn't hurt anything because it's right in line, but it doesn't, it's not there to connect. So it looks like this. That's our core so far. The next piece, uh, is, next component is this. Uh, so this is a stack of four of these uh, eight by eight round tiles, uh, one blay, three blue. Uh, on top of that, there's uh, two of these uh, round quarter, four by four rounded uh, bricks in white. And uh, that's held together with a uh, two by two uh, tile uh, across it, two one by uh, uh, two tiles, it goes on the two studs. Uh, the other two studs uh, have a, there's a one by, uh, there's a hinge brick that goes into a uh, one by two plate, uh, which then is going into a, uh, a one by two Technic brick with two holes. And later these two studs are going to be uh, important for holding uh, the, uh, uh, that central spiral core with the hoses and so forth that goes back up under the cowl. So this unit uh, will uh, come in, uh, oh, sorry, th these studs are gonna connect this unit in for the moment and hold it there. My mistake, the, the cowl will connect on these two yellow studs. 
Okay. So uh, this will come up from behind. Come in. It's the right offset. Uh, to make this the the ring around the outside of this whole cowl work, these studs had to be uh, one uh, plate down, uh, which is that to give the opportunity for that gray blocking, uh, but also made it slightly complicated to get all the this in. So this is why it looks like that. Uh, the next uh, bit here is this one, and let's see how shall I take this out. Let's do that. Okay, so uh, this is going to uh, start life as a uh, one by eight uh, plate, one by six plate, two uh, one by two, uh, sorry, two by two corner plates. Uh, there must be, there might be some good reason why I did it this way instead of the. Uh, oh, I think I wanted more strength, strength across, so that's why we've done it like. So I wanted the one by six here, not a not a one by four, and then there's a, um, a one by four plate on top that has that uh, kind of tile with just the two studs. Okay, I'm going to plug it back in over here so I don't forget where it goes, and then I'll move on to the other part. So uh, this unit uh, comes. Let's, uh, begin to rip this open. So uh, the front of it is all rather complicated. Okay, so there is a uh, two by two uh, plate with uh, side studs uh, that has um, on top of, oops, I need to make sure I don't lose how this is working. Okay, so uh, that's going into a two by two corner plate. Like so one by one plate uh, underneath it. On top of it is a one by two, one by one plate, and a tile. And uh, that's plugging up underneath uh, this nifty uh, cross plate in black. Uh, this is all one uh, one piece, um, and that solves some important that gives things some strength. Uh, uh, on top of that is a uh, one by three plate. Uh, it's got a one by uh, one brick with a side stud underneath it. Like so uh, on top of that one by three plate are a couple tiles, two by two, one by one. And I guess I'm keep popping this up off, but there's a there's a two by two corner plate in light blay, uh, and then uh, three one by one uh, plates in and dark blay. So this unit sits on top of like the just like this. And uh, can I remember where this goes? And then if I did this correctly, uh, this will come in underneath. Is that right? That seems uh, suspicious. Uh, let me take a quick look around the side. Oh, that's uh, that's right. Okay, so so this uh, top stud here is not used, uh, but I needed this one in this position. So, okay. uh, this little unit is looks like it's a stack of uh, two by two uh, plates. It's got a one by two tile on top of it. Uh, it's going into a one by two plate, which is itself then into the back of a uh, one by two Technic brick with two holes. That brick has a couple one by two plates underneath it and a one by two tile on top of it. And uh, that whole unit, I need to look at the other side again to see how this, uh, how this was done. Okay, got it. And so, and then this will, uh, this will connect in uh, on the one stud. Almost there. Uh, this segment. Let's see. Yeah, all this frame, I, uh, this rear frame had to be uh, is made for strength, uh, but also for uh, connecting several things on this uh, the side engine, which uh, are coming into various places, uh, and then that central core itself. Uh, the kind of back faceted core, which is offset. And so it's okay. that should okay. That should cool. Okay, 
two by three plate. And on top of the two by three plate is a two by two plate with two side studs. This is offset over here. Okay. Uh, underneath the two by two plate with the two side studs are a stack of uh, uh, one by three plates, like so. If I pop this off. The, oops, let me just take a quick. Okay, so looks like this. Uh, into that, uh, we'll go another uh, two by three plate, which is this. Uh, that's got a, a two by two corner plate underneath it, two one by four plates on top of it, and a, uh, uh, a single stud. And it seems like it connects in like this. Uh, this is a one by four brick with four side studs. It's got a, um, uh, if I pull this off, uh, it's coming up under a two by two plate with two side studs, a, uh, which itself then has a one by three plate underneath it. The one by three plate has a two by two corner plate and a one by uh, two plate there. And then this whole unit connects in like that. And, uh, and then uh, we'll connect in on top of here like so. Uh, this across the top here, two by three tile. Uh, and then I need to check and make sure to see how this is working. So there's a, a two by two plate. Uh, we'll uh, go across all these studs and a one by two plate here. Okay. And uh, almost have what I need. And it should be, yes. Okay, so uh, then uh, these three studs, um, the, uh, the side here will go into one, two, three for this segment. Just like that. And when I put it all back together, this uh, reference that I've been looking at, looks like this. Okay. And then uh, back here, so this major component, uh, this one is going to uh, come in from behind the, uh, oh, this will get cinched up in just a second. This one will come in from behind. Uh, these four studs in the front are going to connect in uh, to the back of this, uh, of the circular unit here. Um, the, uh, uh, the rest of it we're going to connect in with these uh, two studs, two studs, so four studs. These studs later will be for that central core, which will come on top. So let's, so let's do that. It's uh, really nice. Okay. Okay. And again, uh, let me uh, now uh, set this aside. And hit the last part of the rear frame, uh, just this little unit. Those are jets flying over uh, above San Francisco. It's Fleet Week. Okay. So uh, this there's a. Uh, 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 two one by six plates, one yellow, one dark blay, one by three plate on top of it. Uh, onto this stud, uh, we'll go a uh, one by two uh, 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 rounded curved slope into a 45 degree slope. Uh, this is a, uh, oops, uh, this uh, two by four wedge. It's got um, a two by two rounded uh, slope on top, curved slope on top. And so it connects like that. And then uh, over on this side, so this is, there's a uh, two by four plate. Uh, it's got a two by four plate, one by four plate. Uh, up underneath it is a uh, one by two brick with two side studs and a uh, one by two panel on top of it. Uh, it shows the panel with the square corners for this one. And it gives a, there's a half plate reveal here, which is, I think is good. And uh, there's a couple of uh, these round uh, two by two tiles. 
curved, uh, sorry, curved slope, okay, one by four tile. And this uh, will all come across here. The, the, the curve is contiguous. Right. So then this component uh, will fit across the back of this one, and hit all of these exposed studs, and give the, this whole rear of the frame uh, a lot of strength. Uh, we'll also uh, create the right reveal that's going to go up around those rear engines. Same thing uh, over on this side. Okay. So that is the uh, completed rear frame. All right, now I'm going to do the central core of this uh, cylindrical unit up on the back of the ship. And for this one, uh, I didn't want to take it fully apart, uh, so I, I took it half apart, and I'll put it back together uh, so you can see how it all works. Uh, this is the uh, part I, uh, I didn't remove, uh, the side. It's going to look like this when it all comes together uh, with a uh, kind of a cylindrical shape and then uh, using cheese to be able to cut color and uh, uh, up through the cylinder. Okay. Uh, but if I turn it around, it looks like a kind of like a, a desiccated hair curler or something. Uh, this is the kind of crazy uh, uh, internal technique uh, I used to get the 16 different facets around the outside. So um, I'll kind of explain how this all goes together without taking it completely apart. And uh, I should probably start down uh, down below the bottom. So for the, the component which is going to hold this up to the frame, uh, it has, uh, connects up to the central area in uh, three ways. So there is a uh, plate here. This gray bird is a plate with a clip, uh, so two by two with a clip in the middle. Uh, there is a, a straight up uh, two by four plate here in dark blade that goes up through the center. And then one more uh, uh, one by two plate with a clip here. Um, and then uh, that builds down in a series of plates. Uh, you can do this however you want, but there's a basically stair, to, stair step. One, uh, two, three, four. Uh, the fifth one down is a tile here. Uh, and then uh, there's uh, just for, they don't connect anything just for looks. There's two, uh, there's a, a one by two plate with a bar uh, and then a one plate gap and then another one by two plate with a bar. Okay. And so that's sort of the important bit for the, that bit of structure. Then uh, to connect, when it connects back up to the rest of the ship, it does it with a, a, a half plate, a half stud offset. And so uh, for that, there's effectively a, uh, what is a, a two by five uh, set of plates. This is a two by four and a one by two. And, uh, and then covered with jumpers. So four jumpers and some, uh, and a tile. Some tiles. The one at the bottom is the at the bottom. It needs to be black because you're going to be able to see that reveal from below. The other bit that doesn't matter. And uh, this uh, then all just uh, connects in here like so. So this is the uh, this is the bit that's going to um, uh, latch this uh, core to the ship itself. Uh, then uh, up uh, where that connects in. The, I've got five of these uh, 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 bits with the hexagonal kind of bars around the outside. Um, uh, is it actually hexagonal? So, and uh, then uh, oh, there's, the, yeah, there's eight of them, and so octagonal. So uh, there's five of these uh, between uh, 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 using uh, basic math, uh, there's four uh, plates between each, and that's gonna make it all work on a, uh, uh, stud offset. Um, the uh, and you can uh, probably see where the where the uh, plate comes up through the center here. Okay. Then uh, the, then uh, uh, about half of these are offset um, the uh, from the um, uh, from the rest of them, and so to get the rotation uh, in the uh, between them, I'm using a uh, there's a so uh, two by two. Uh, uh, I guess tile with the one stud in the center uh, into a round uh, two by two plate. So 
I've done that here. Uh, then uh, these two uh, 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 these two center ones are at this are are locked uh, relative to one another. Then there's another uh, rotation uh, for this one, and then a third rotation back uh, for this last one here on the end. Okay. Um, at the end, uh, I used a uh, round uh, uh, two by two round tile uh, with a stud in the center, uh, so that it wouldn't, uh, so that it would look good from this direction. Okay. Uh, to cap it off here, this is a round uh, two by two tile with a hole, and uh, and then I've uh, have this uh, uh, little gear. And with a uh, uh, with a light blade bar uh, through the center that's flush. Okay, uh, and then to attach the uh, bits around the outside, I've done that with the little mechanical clips, and then into the clips are the uh, the uh, uh, round uh, plates with holes. Uh, most places uh, there are uh, those are uh, there are two of them. Um, uh, around in the end here, uh, where we cap it off, there's three, and I made them yellow. Uh, and there's a couple other bits here where there's three, and I'll, I'll show you kind of as it comes around to the edge and then cuts into the ship. All right, so I'm going to uh, then go ahead and fill this out and add the parts back in. And the uh, they're not all exactly the same, so uh, but the first few are the identical. So this is a set of seven uh, headlight bricks up underneath a, an eight long uh, tile. Uh, that tile uh, caps into a, uh, a one by one plate into a 45 degree slope with a, uh, with a cutout. Okay. And then around this side into the headlight bricks, uh, two, uh, two long blue, uh, the yellow, and a couple two long gray. And uh, when I put that up into uh, uh, into this assembly, it's going to connect into uh, two studs here, and then the, at this uh, top one, this is the top center along the the uh, center line of the ship, uh, will uh, connect in on uh, to one of these ones at the end. Okay. And all, all of this is a little bit tricky touchy. Uh, once it's done, uh, it's nice and strong, uh, but boy, it, it uh, takes a bit of took a bit of finesse. Uh, to get it in there the first time uh, and have everything spaced properly. So uh, I'll see how this goes. Okay. Uh, first one went okay. And I can recall I'm going to need a bar in order to uh, push these around a bit. So first one, second, uh, the next three I'm looking at now are all the same. Uh, the the uh, 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 the build for the the piece I'm going to put on the facet itself is identical. Uh, so you can, this next one is on uh, connects in on two studs. Okay. Then three studs. Again, a bit of finesse. Just nudge it. Looking good. One more of these bits that is exactly the same. The seven headlight bricks. All right. Uh, now the next one is uh, slightly different. So uh, this is going to uh, this this next one is going to rest completely uh, flat on the uh, starboard side of the ship. Uh, it's a little wrap. There is an engine that wraps up around it. 
So uh, because this is the, the part that's uh, coming, uh, where it's sort of terminating as it works around to the right, this, uh, this unit has uh, only needs the headlight bricks uh, in two places. The reason it needs a headlight brick there still is no longer because if something is going to attach here, it's because the top of the bar that's coming out of the, the, the stud needs somewhere to go. And the standard brick isn't, uh, won't accommodate it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop this in. Uh, the equivalent uh, over on uh, this side, uh, you can see it's just the work where it started that run, uh, that brick looked the same, seven headlights. Oops. Okay, so nice and easy. All right. Okay, so starting from uh, this next section that comes down, this is uh, these don't go back all the uh, way anymore because they're going to wrap around the up flush against part of the ship. Uh, when they do that, there's another bit of the engine that's cutting in. So I have to work around that. So the very next one looks like uh, looks like this. So it's a one by two plate, one by one plate, and then this awesome new part uh, that we've uh, that came out with the 45 degrees uh, slope that comes up and around. Uh, if, I, if it wasn't for that part, I wouldn't be able to achieve this geometry. So that's awesome. Uh, and that needs to be a tile in the back. And that will connect it on one stud. That's fine. And, and I just wanted to make sure it's uh, 90 degrees. I can fix it later when once it goes into place. Uh, the next one is a, let me set this down. The next one is a f regular slope with cutout. And it goes into a one by two plate and a one by two tile. And then it's got a couple one by one plates underneath it. If I can catch the light. And that will sit up uh, on the, the yellow stud here. This. Uh, the same thing is happening over uh, opposite that uh, and the, where the, the circle started. Uh, and then the last two are the same. And uh, that is a headlight uh, with a gray uh, cheese into a one by two tile, one by one plate, and a 45 degree uh, slope with cutout. And so uh, there's uh, one of uh, those here, and the stud will goes up underneath the uh, headlight brick again. And, uh, and then the last one, uh, which will uh, finishes the 16. Uh, looks the same and we'll come in like so. So the geometry is just such that the by the time you come all the way around, uh, you can't get headlights in anymore. I need to give a little bit of a go. And so that happens uh, uh, right in this area and in this area. Uh, but then I continue the headlights uh, with the, uh, the cheese down uh, at the very bottom. It looks pretty contiguous. All right, uh, so it definitely looks better assembled. Uh, this is the uh, that uh, cylindrical unit up on the back of the ship. I want to show you how the the center section with these uh, spiral hoses uh, goes together, uh, but I don't want to take this fully apart. Uh, I'm really happy with uh, how the hoses all ended up. Um, and uh, so I'm going to attempt just to talk through how this was done and the, to the degree you can replicate it. So th this is um, uh, down below. Uh, this starts with a couple of, uh, in uh, very neon colors, a couple of round uh, two by two uh, plates. And then it goes into uh, whatever this kind of bar element is uh, that has the uh, eight bars around the outside for clips. I'll come back to what the clips are doing in just a second. There's a inside here, then there's a, a one by two, uh, sorry, a two by two round brick. And then it's going into a stack of uh, round bricks that are effectively four by four by four, uh, and uh, which is uh, five plates high. 
Uh, I did it with uh, two of the uh, four by four round plates uh, with some macaroni around the outside uh, and, uh, and a brick in the middle. You can do it however you want. And that then is going into a, a cone and to a large cone. The large cone is capped with a uh, two by two uh, round tile with a hole in the center. And then there's another two by two round tile with a hole in the center uh, with a, uh, uh, with a, a, let's just check to make sure, uh, with a, uh, with a two by two uh, round brick underneath it. And, and so, and then I've run through the center that then there is a, uh, a long axle. Uh, which gives a stud reversal on the center of this of, of uh, this shape, and you can see the bottom of the axle uh, is uh, flush uh, with the bottom of this unit here. Okay, uh, around the outside where I have the hoses hooked up, the uh, uh, the key thing is that one of these on the one that will be on the bottom of the ship has a, a two uh, one by two uh, plate with a single clip, uh, one by two plate underneath it, and a jumper here on top. Uh, and that was so I could latch this in and make sure it wasn't going to spin and it was going to be it's in the proper position. Okay. Uh, the rest of them all around, uh, these are uh, just uh, one by one plates with side clips. And the and they've got spacers uh, around the, the uh, around the outside. Uh, these are uh, one by one uh, round uh, plates. I had a bunch of them in orange. So that's what is around the outside. And then the top three, uh, when it goes into uh, the receptacle around the cowl, needs one more spacer, and so it has an extra uh, round uh, plate on top. Okay. Uh, I use the color of the uh, plates to uh, designate which hose it's going to go to. So when I did, when I did have this all apart before, so uh, this blue one, uh, I mean, this is going to uh, line up with the uh, uh, the blue, uh, the top uh, hose on the uh, blue plate on this side. So fun. All right, so uh, all these hoses then connect into this, uh, this other piece here. This is a, uh, so there's a, a one by four plate and then uh, two one by three plates next to it. Um, uh, they're on the same, uh, all on the same plane. Uh, behind that, in order to get that offset, uh, this is a one by three plate. It has two one by one, uh, uh, so one by three plate, two one by one plates, but underneath it, and then there, that's a one by uh, one uh, round plate with a hole in the center, and, uh, and then I use that to get the uh, half stud offset uh, for these plates. Then uh, across the top, uh, these just need to be bricks. I use Technic bricks, uh, one by one Technic bricks, one two three. Okay. Oh, sorry, this is going to be the, this is the bottom here. So one, two, three, you can see this. Then uh, across the, the center, uh, there's another uh, one by four uh, uh, plate. And uh, that has to also be offset by half stud. So the white plate, you can see back up inside of there, perhaps the white round plate uh, that has a hole in the center. Uh, and uh, and then behind that in the center of the uh, one by four plate is a one by two plate with a one by two jumper. Okay. And then that whole thing then in the center of the one by four plate, probably you can't see it, but there's another one by uh, uh, two jumper, okay. uh, which is going to go into the bottom of this uh, this unit on top. Okay. Uh, and then there's a variety of these one by uh, one uh, round uh, plates. Uh, I stack them like this uh, to give some texture uh, because this is the part that you see on the front of the cowl. So uh, after you put, and then the hoses obviously come together in a one by one uh, 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 cylinder. After you do all of this, then uh, you can twist it uh, with this right to correct geometry and uh, it will all come together like so. And the and give this, um, uh, it'll be the correct length. And it will give this uh, what I think a uh, really nice detail of uh, this uh, spiral around the outside, which is kind of fun. Uh, but clearly, it was a bit of a pain in the ass to achieve this. So, but that's how I did it. Now, I'll build a, a number of miscellaneous components that go on the engines or uh, otherwise attached to the rear frame. And I'll start uh, with this uh, uh, one of the rear tails. Uh, this is from starboard side of the ship. And. Just uh, take these, take the major pieces apart. 
Okay. So uh, this is a uh, probably. Okay, if I don't forget how this works. Okay. So uh, this is a stack of lots of brackets. So we've got a, uh, a, a two by two plate. It has a one by two to two by two bracket on top. Uh, a one by uh, uh, two tile uh, there. Uh, underneath it in yellow is a one by two to two by uh, two by two bracket. Um, the um, uh, on that bracket are a, a two long cheese slope, a one by two plate, and a one by two tile. Underneath the bracket is a one by two uh, plate, which is still wedged up in there. Another one by two plate, and then another uh, one, and then a uh, one by two to a one by two bracket, one by two plate, and a couple of of uh, uh, round plates with holes in it, look like thrusters. And then uh, if I uh, put this back in the right spot, then uh, there's a uh, two by three plate, one by two plate, and a two long cheese here in blue, uh, which are all uh, go here along the edge. Okay. Uh, this is uh, uh, a long tail piece. Uh, and it's sitting on top of a, there's a hinge brick with a two by two top. It's uh, connected to the tail, uh, that's it. And uh, this will just uh, come in over the top of that cheese. Like so. And then uh, this is a uh, one by two to two by four inverted bracket, like so. It's got a one by two tile, a couple of uh, uh, quarter circle tiles on it. Uh, a one by two uh, plate. Then on the one by two plate is a, uh, this side is a headlight brick and a cheese. And then uh, this side is a one by one plate, headlight brick and a cheese facing this way. Okay. And uh, this unit, uh, this uh, will uh, come up uh, underneath here. Okay, so it uh, caps little jog here when, this, when the tail comes up underneath the, underneath the ship. And uh, and then some, uh, which I think pretty uh, nice little color work with a, a couple thrusters and some uh, shaping here underneath. Okay. Next little piece uh, is this one. Uh, this is going to go on the side for the where the engine is. And uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Uh, not like that. So uh, it's this is two uh, one by two to two two by two inverted brackets in black. They're going into a two by four plate. That two by four plate uh, has uh, on top of it two uh, two by two uh, tiles with one stud in the center. Uh, I don't want to take this apart because it's uh, set up properly. But that's um, then is going into the back of these uh, round, um, not a lift arm, uh, Technic bit. Uh, it has a uh, it has into it a uh, a small gear. It has a bushing, and then this is a three long uh, bar that uh, goes all the way through and is going into the open stud. Okay, and that's repeated twice. Just a little detail here. Over on this side, there's a one by four plate uh, into a two by four plate. Uh, the two by four plate has on top of it. I can open this up without too much trouble. Um, one of uh, whatever this is, it's a wedge unit. I like the shape, and so it comes across here. There's a one by two plate underneath it, and then a uh, tile with a decal, and then this will all go here. So this is flush up on the top. Next, uh, so for the uh, side of the uh, of the rear engine. Uh, this is a, let's try this. Uh, so a two by two plate uh, into a one by one plate and a uh, two by two corner plate. That corner plate, uh, which is coming off here, like so has on it uh, one of these cool uh, uh, little slopes uh, with, uh, with a jog in it, a uh, one by two curved slope, two by two, and then a two by two curved slope along the top. Uh, there's two of these rounded bricks and then a tile on top. Uh, this tile happens to be uh, embossed. Uh, I got this years ago in BrickLink from somewhere. I, I really dig it. 
So that's that. Next are the uh, rear thrusters. And uh, this is pretty simple. So there's uh, two of these uh, uh, two by two plates with a round circle extension. It's got a cheese on it. It's got a uh, two by two round plate, a two by two tile uh, with a hole, and then into the hole is recessed a uh, radar dish, a two by two radar dish. Okay. So there's two of these, and then they are held together uh, with a uh, one by two panel. Gray, so it looks like this. Uh, moving up underneath the ship, uh, uh, this is going to cut across the bottom. So uh, let's see how do I want to show this. So there's a uh, one by one uh, brick uh, with a side stud into a brick. Uh, that brick is into a one by three uh, tile. It has a 33 degree inverted slope underneath it and a one by one plate on top. Hmm. And uh, that is then, there's two of these, they're going up then into a one by four plate uh, with a four long gear rack on top. So it looks like that. Uh, another piece of that uh, 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 kind of bottom area that's gonna finish out the uh, underneath the ship is this, this one's more complicated and, uh, and it's asymmetrical. So I need to be careful, make sure I remember how this goes. Let's see, I don't want to do it. Let's do it like that. Okay. So uh, there is a uh, one by six plate. Uh, here across the, the uh, center. It's got a two by two plate underneath it with a two long cheese slope, uh, two two by two corner tiles, one by two, one by three tile. And uh, then uh, these, oh, let's see, I will do it like this. So, so uh, then over on this side, it's a two by three uh, plate, one by three plate on the, and a one by one plate on this bottom layer. Uh, that's going into a uh, one by six plate. Uh, how much of this do I want to take apart? Uh, frankly, not very much. So the it's okay. Let's do it like that. Okay, this should be enough. So uh, one by six, one by one plate, uh, one by three, one by two, one by one. These five, uh, this is the underneath of these uh, 45 degree slope with cutout. Put this all back together, maybe. Um, and then on top of that are, uh, it's a one by two plate, one by, uh, two by two corner plate. We've got a two by two corner tile, one by three plate. Let me look at the side to make sure I'm putting this back together properly. Uh oh, this is the asymmetric piece that's going to be problematic for me. Okay, so uh, that should go like so. Um, up underneath here, let's see how this all goes back together. So, uh, headlight, headlight into the back of a headlight. Uh, there's a cheese on, there's a, a grilled cheese on top. Uh, one by two tile and another headlight. We'll go here and then I'll use the other grilled cheese to cut across here. Okay. Ah, got it. Okay, uh, this is uh, one by three, two one by one plates. So that should, I bet that goes there. And I bet this two by three plate goes here. Okay. Uh, this is gonna connect up when this whole section uh, works in the bottom of the ship. And then uh, I'm just going to uh, to replace uh, right this side. Uh, this side is nearly the same, uh, but it has more of a cutout area. Uh, this is be, uh, because of how the stand fits in. And this will come in like this, and there we put a one by two tile across there. Okay. 
And that is probably right. <laughs> uh, another little bit, uh, this is, uh, uh, these guys will go uh, across the top of the engines uh, where it meets, so it goes over the, the Technic struts. So uh, the big piece here is a uh, two by six wedge. Uh, it's got into it a uh, two by two uh, uh, curved tile, curved slope, a one by two uh, plate underneath it. And uh, it's going into, uh, this is a two by two corner plate. Uh, it has a one by two plate with a door rail, one by one plate. It's up underneath a one by four curved slope into a uh, one by two plate and a one by one plate. And this uh, should all come up underneath here. So the curve should align. Okay. And then uh, the last of the miscellaneous bits is this. So um, let's see how we're going to uh, take this apart. Uh, this is the this is the rear part of the uh, those th side thrusters. Probably gonna to want to pop these guys off. Okay, so uh, there is a uh, one by six plate. Oops, where did I just get this from? Here, rut row. Okay, one by six plate. Uh, on top of it in yellow, this is a one by two plate, a one by two plate in light blay. Um, there's a, uh, uh, over here is a one by two to one by two bracket in light blay with a one by two to one by two inverted bracket in dark blay on top of it. Uh, that's capped off on this side with a two by two plate. Uh, one by three plate in blue. Uh, over on this side, there is a, uh, below is a two, two by two and one by two plate, and that's going up underneath a two by three plate here. The two by three plate has a, uh, has a one by two panel, one by two plate, and this uh, two by three uh, wedge plate on it. Okay. And uh, from somewhere up here, probably here, I uh, just got this. So uh, there's a, a curved brick. This is going to be inside uh, underneath one of the other arches. Uh, it's going though into a one by two to one by two bracket that has a one by three plate across it, uh, one by one brick underneath that one by three plate, one by one tile, and uh, for texture, uh, there's a, a grill tile. And so I'll put this like so. Um, across the top of that, then we'll go, uh, I think we should do this unit next. Okay, across the top we'll go this. So there's a one by three plate uh, here. The um, Underneath the one by three plate is one of those uh, curved uh, bricks. It's got a one by one plate and a, a headlight brick underneath it. And then across the top are three of these arch bricks. And this will come uh, fit over this other arch brick and connect it on two studs. And uh, where did this go? Is there an extra? Do, 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 do. Uh oh. Uh, let me check the opposite. Fascinating. Okay. So, uh, so let me do this other component first. So, uh, this is a. Um, let's see what do I want to do. So, there's a one by two to two by two inverted bracket. Uh, it's got an 18 degree slope on it with a quarter circle tile, uh, one by one brick, and a one by one 
uh, tile. Uh, that's coming up underneath a 1x3 plate and a 2x3 plate. Let me put it back where it was. So uh, there's those two plates, two by three, one by three. Uh, on that, on top of that, there's a what must be a one by three plate that cuts it all the way across, and then rounded uh, curved slopes, two by two and one by two. Uh, there's uh, three of these arch bricks and uh, a one by three tile. And then fitting into this is a uh, two a one by three plates, one by two curved brick, and a two by two corner plate. So that all goes like so. Then uh, this is, this bit I didn't know where it went before, is a couple of headlight bricks. So headlight brick in the, uh, headlight brick to a brick with side stud here. That's got uh, two one by three plates on top of it. And then this is a uh, rounded um, brick and this is a headlight brick underneath it. And that is in order to get a stud out the back where the thrusters are going to sit. And so this will all come up uh, underneath here, like so. And then I just need to uh, remember how this is going to go. Oh, perfect. Okay. And then uh, this entire, then the, I can finally put these two units together. So uh, uh, we'll connect in on the, oh, I might have been able to connect in on these, looks like these three studs and the headlight brick, uh, the headlight brick connection. Cinch everything up. And so this was, uh, I did this uh, in order to get a couple different things. So uh, the back, uh, this will round, I, I liked how the curve came around, swept around uh, and then cuts up this way and back up this way. Uh, I needed to get that stud is there so I can put the thrusters on. When I do that, it's going to cover this uh, remaining gap. And then uh, finally on, over here, I, I wanted to put these ingots on, but I didn't want them to be just stuck on the side. I wanted them recessed by a half plate. Uh, and I got that um, uh, with the, uh, uh, this geometry. So uh, they will each be uh, connecting in just on one stud, not two, uh, and they're recessed. So I thought this look was uh, better. It just popped off the side. Then it just uh, uh, out by the full plate on the side. Okay. Uh, that is the last of the miscellaneous parts. And now I'm gonna show how to put together the stand. Uh, I don't usually do this in my videos, but the connection between the stand and the ship uh, is not standard. Um, and so um, just in case uh, anyone wants to try this thing, I thought I'd show you. Uh, uh, how to do it down the base. So uh, I'll do this really quickly though. So uh, this is the uh, front of the stance section and the the bottom layer of black plates, one by three, one by six, two by four, and uh, one by six. Okay. Then uh, this is two by four, right? Or, that's interesting. Oh, sorry, uh, two by four, uh, one by one. Yeah, it's, it didn't look right, so that's five. And I'm using the uh, boat studs underneath. Then on top of that, uh, there's uh, some brackets, one by two to, to one by two, uh, plate across the front, one by four. It's got those awesome bricks uh, with the coincident, uh, the studs at 90 degrees off them. Um, around here, there's a couple of plate, two by four plates now in play. Uh, and then on top of that are the uh, two by two uh, plates with side studs. Uh, that cuts around into a two by two corner plate, and some some uh, another two by two corner plate on top of it cuts back uh, around and just spin around so you can build this thing. That's the front, and then uh, that connects into uh, down uh, the next section. Looks like this. Uh, there's a couple of uh, one uh, two by eight uh, plates in black, and then a two by six. Lots of boat studs again. And, and then across the top of it, uh, there's a two by six plate in uh, light blay. Uh, there are a couple of brackets, one by two to one by four, 
uh, lots of one by two, one by two, one by two plates, one by two, one by two, a couple one by fours in dark blay and some one by fours in light blay. And uh, this section from the front will uh, connect in on this one in the back. So, and then the rear uh, has a, uh, this is probably a four by four plate, a couple of uh, brackets, one by two to one by two, one by four plate, uh, and more of those awesome studs, uh, bricks with the two studs on it. And uh, for now, a couple of studs will hold this in. Okay. Then uh, the uh, first of the, let's see here. We'll do it like this. So the rear supports uh, look like this. So uh, this is, as I was saying, the connection was uh, slightly unusual for my ships. So the long lift arms again, the top, um, the one of the lift arms has one stud, the other has a th uh, three long uh, friction pin with uh, two studs. So two Technic bricks uh, off the back. And then when it comes down uh, into, it's being held between as a studs, uh, between two of the two by two plates with the, it's got four of these two by two plates at the bottom uh, with the side studs. Uh, there's a two by two lift arm uh, between in the center. And then uh, this is uh, these two headlight bricks in the back here, there's a uh, half pin uh, into the lift arm that's into the back of the headlight brick. Okay. Oh, and then uh, underneath this, then uh, there's uh, these uh, plates or tiles with just the two studs. So, uh, because it, obviously I can't put a stud underneath the lift arm. And uh, this whole, this unit, uh, fits in on top. It's nice and strong, like so. Okay. Uh, the front uh, connections uh, look like this. So again, lift arms. The uh, into this one, uh, there's uh, two, three long pins, friction pins. They're going into bricks, Technic bricks with two holes. And then on top of it are the two by two uh, bricks with the side studs. I know that you're not supposed to do this, so you can see like a very small little gap there, but it's fine. It works great anyway, and it's stronger. Um, and the and then this is into a one by four plate, and there's a one by four tile on top. And let's see how this goes in. Uh, and so the the bottom of the left arm will go into the slot here. And I. Th Think. Oh, let's see which way did this go? Oh, okay. So uh, before I put that in, uh, a couple of important things. So uh, firstly, there's a, a two by six plate and a one by a two by three, and this will cut across the center. So let's drop that in. Okay. Uh, and then here in the front, just as a detail, so this is a, a brick with a couple of side studs, and that goes into a, uh, a round tile with a hole and uh, uh, some stacked radar dishes. And that will come in here uh, for some texture. And then I bet this will work better. Something like this, yep, okay. So let's try that out. This seems good. Hopefully it's right. Uh, around the back. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So uh, this is a, uh, there's a two by three plate here, a one by two to one by four bracket. It's got a couple of those rounded bricks with some tile, uh, cut two plates, and then that's going into the back of a two by one by two Technic brick with two holes. And that's got uh, this uh, stack of plates underneath it. And uh, that will uh, come in to uh, finish off uh, along the top here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cap all that with some tiles, two by three plate, uh, two by two, two by four tiles, something like so. Um, put some texture uh, along the sides and some uh, color differentiation. This is just a stack of grill bricks, so one by one brick. Uh, the uh, rounded uh, brick, some uh, plates and a tile. So I'll pop that back in, 
on both sides, uh, like so. Okay. Uh, in the front, uh, I've got this uh, uh, little, I think this is a canopy kind of piece. Uh, I like it though, it looks mechanical to me. And so, uh, and it turns out to be structural too. So I'm gonna put that like this. And then, uh, and then finish out the, get some dark blue in on the sides. Uh, around the back, I'm gonna cheat slightly. So there wasn't any way to lock in uh, that same, you know, so it's gonna float in here in the, in the rear. Uh, it's, but it's trapped, it's not going anywhere. And in fact, when I put this on, it won't spin anymore either. Oops. No, it does still spin, uh, but not unless I tell it to. Okay. And uh, then uh, I will bring in a couple more of these stack of the dark blue uh, one by threes and uh, plates, two plates, one tile. Okay. Uh, then uh, around the, uh, let me back the camera out slightly. So uh, now around the edges are these assemblies. I think this is symmetric. Uh, so there's a, this is a one by eight tile into uh, a stack here, uh, one by four uh, plate, um, one by two plate, the black um, uh, uh, two by two plate with side studs. Like so, uh, there's some uh, other plate work. Ultimately, uh, get all this. So, uh, cuts in like this, brick with side stud, uh, the uh, corner tile, round tile around the top, wedge, uh, curved slope. And that will connect in a, uh, a ton of studs here along the sides. Same thing here. Oops. Okay. Uh, There's a little finishing piece in the front. Um, the the it's I needed uh, I guess eleven uh, plates. So it's uh, four of these uh, new slopes in dark blue, um, but the ones on the edge have a half plate offset using a headlight brick uh, into a, uh, this is a Technic brick with a hole. So one of those like that, uh, one in the back. And lastly, one by six tile, two headlight bricks, a couple of long cheese. And drop in, I'll drop in on top. And the same thing over on this side. Okay, and uh, that is the stand. Let's begin the final assembly. And uh, to do that, I will start with the front part of this frame, uh, which I made earlier. Now uh, this is the front, uh, basically the, the frame for the front half of the ship. So just to spin this around. And uh, to that, we're gonna connect the back half of the frame, uh, which is this bit we made earlier. Okay. And uh, underneath this uh, back half of the frame, uh, there's some cutouts here, which are going to uh, sit uh, on top of this uh, green two by two tile and connect in ultimately on the four studs. So snap that in place. Uh, and then uh, there's some 
uh, additions here we need to make on top of the frame. Uh, we'll add the, the rear part of the cowl. It comes up over the top. Like so. Uh, towards the rear now, uh, we'll do the back of the uh, the back of the engines. Uh, this is going to add strength to the rear, uh, and, and so it's, uh, this little piece here. And so I'll come in on uh, each the port and starboard side. Same thing over here. Get that latched in uh, nice and tight. Okay, uh, and then bringing everything uh, upside down. Uh, there's some. Uh, there's an, a uh, bit here to cover uh, the underneath where all this frame connects, and ultimately where the the stand uh, will snap in. And so that's uh, this part here, which I made earlier. And some snot work in that uh, to give the connect up into the uh, uh, into the frame uh, and give a nice look down below. Uh, on the back, uh, we'll add the uh, ports for the uh, uh, engine thrusters. And so we have uh, two of uh, these bits. And that's just going to connect it on one stud, uh, which is turns out to be fine. It's not going anywhere. And same thing over here. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to add in uh, this uh, main uh, engine or cylindrical unit, uh, which I put together before. And uh, this, uh, and that segment's going to uh, come down uh, through here. There's a hole I've left in the center of the frame back. And then back around up underneath. Uh, it will connect in. Uh, there's uh, four studs here that hold this. This is using the jumper plates to put it in exactly the right place. And uh, when that's done, it uh, should have a nice edge uh, here sitting on top. Same thing over on this side. Okay. One more bit here before we get to the stand. So down below, uh, I've got a, uh, this is just a, uh, a hinge brick uh, to a, with a 2x2 two two top and a 2x2 two two plate on top. And I'm going to put this, put the plate in here, leave the hinge brick at an angle. Um, this is just going to be for the reveal to fill a, uh, uh, fill a gap. And, uh, and then this, uh, maybe this little bit here, it's going to come up and around it. Wrap that. Some nice textures, everything tight. Okay. And uh, with that, now I am ready uh, to uh, put this all up onto the frame. So let's uh, back the camera out slightly. Okay. And uh, here's the stand, uh, which I made before. And the connection points up on top of the stand. And uh, so this is going to come up uh, into the bottom of the frame uh, in the slot, the three long and two long slot in the rear. And then the uh, these technic uh, these lift arms in the front are going to connect in on two studs here. So once I do that, uh, this is a nice uh, tight and strong connection uh, from the stand. Uh, but also one that can be removed. So you can take the ship up off the stand if we need to. Cool. One and hopefully two. Okay, let me 
just pop that one. All right, and the stand is on. So uh, now uh, just some finishing, uh, finishing bits. So uh, this is that uh, fun bit with the twisted hoses uh, that we made before. And this, this is going to uh, come in and then the backside will come in on these uh, two studs in the yellow uh, around all this, uh, this tiling. And let me just remember which, and uh, this bit with the gray here in the bottom will be uh, locked in uh, between these two uh, plates with the door rail. So, Get that in. All right, that sounds great. Okay, like so. Then uh, around uh, around this, uh, we'll go uh, this this little bit with uh, what is this uh, ten. Uh, facets of these uh, uh, tiles with the, uh, the bar up on top uh, around a series of uh, two deep uh, 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 hinge plates. And uh, we're gonna just bring that around the front. And then that's, uh, there are two studs here on each side which are gonna connect into the bottom. Yeah, hinge plates on each side, make sure that's twist those so that they're flush first. Go around, do the same thing on this side. Okay. Uh, and then uh, just even things out up top. The look that I'm looking for. The look that I'm looking for. Okay. Now around uh, this, uh, this bit, I've got uh, these uh, Technic struts here. Uh, this is uh, two struts. Uh, it has a, a jumper uh, plate uh, into uh, the furthest um, uh, hole on each of the, uh, the long side of the strut. And then this comes together two friction pins and a Technic brick with two holes. And so this, uh, this whole unit is going to come up underneath here. Uh, it's going to sit in between uh, these two uh, slopes. It doesn't actually attach to anything in the front. This is, we don't need it structurally. Um, uh, but I want it to be centered, so it locks in there. And then the, the jumper plates are on the side. Uh, we'll uh, click in. And we'll do that on each, uh, each side. Good. Make sure it's centered. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to cover up, bring in the uh, side of the engines uh, that wrap around this. So do uh, one side at a time here. And uh, what I need to put on together uh, will be uh, these uh, uh, cool windscreens. Uh, will come in along with uh, this bit that I made before. Uh, that's a kind of a cowl around the front of the engine uh, and is holding the greeply parts. And so uh, these two will fit inside one another, but I need to connect it all approximately the same time. Oh, and as I do that, uh, the front of uh, this uh, greeply bit is going to lock in around uh, this uh, wedge plate. Okay. And uh, this has uh, will connect in on three studs. Uh, this will connect into one the whole thing will be locked together. So let's give it a shot. Okay, and just... Seize everything up inside. There we go, it sounded good. Okay. 
All right, and there's a half plate gap here uh, that is intentional. Uh, you're not going to see it. Uh, it was necessary structurally for another part. Okay. After I do that, then uh, around the, uh, to uh, jog around uh, the top of this canopy a bit, uh, we've got this little unit, uh, which I made before, including that uh, fun new uh, curved wedge part. And so this will uh, come in like so. There. Uh, and then uh, these uh, tail element uh, that I made before will come up underneath and connect in on two studs. Okay. Hit uh, this side now. Good. Okay. Spin around the jog around the back and one more tail element. Okay, now uh, one of the most important parts I'm going to put in the uh, bring the cockpit in. So uh, here's the cockpit uh, unit that we made before. It's rather complex internally. Uh, I've left, uh, I've I removed uh, one side of the cowl so I can see how this is connecting in. And uh, it's gonna fit in, uh, it's got a hinge plate, a hinge brick down below that will lock and then it will rest inside of uh, these uh, panel elements. And this is a bit tricky, so let's see if I, I managed to do it on the first try or not. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Okay, and done properly should be a nice tight fit here into the, around the front. So. Going to replace uh, these elements, uh, the top half of the, the bit of the cow here on the side that I took off. So let's do, do that. That's good. Okay. Uh, and then I left uh, uh, just uh, the top of the engine bit. Uh, this little Ellen, little uh, series of wedges, and uh, this will sit up on top, and uh, and then into the front here um, using these Technic gear racks. So uh, one of these, uh, sorry, two for each side. This uh, one, oops, uh, last little bit of texture. So that uh, is uh, completed heavy light, everything together. One more spin. And then uh, I think uh, coming up off the stand, let's pop this guy out. Thank you. 
ship and uh, from below Hmm. <laughs>